Many homeowners associations use Intuit QuickBooks to manage their community finances. Now you can synchronize the payments you receive for dues and fees, amenity reservations, event registrations, and one-time charges through integration between your website and your QuickBooks online setup. Before you get started, make a note of these important considerations. This is a one-way process that pushes payment data from your website to QuickBooks. If you change a payment or an invoice in QuickBooks, you won't see those changes in your website data unless you make them manually. If your residents' names, addresses, and other data already appear in an existing QuickBooks account, it's essential to set up your member and household data so they match your QuickBooks data. Otherwise, QuickBooks will create new duplicated entries when your invoice and payment data transfer from your website. If you are setting up a new QuickBooks account to work with your website, the data you sync across will determine how QuickBooks lists your member data. Any invoices that go out and payments you receive before you sync with QuickBooks will not appear in QuickBooks. This ensures that the system doesn't create a duplicate of items you've already entered. But that doesn't mean you need to replace your current dues items, amenities, events, or one-time charges. So long as the invoices and payments generate after you sync up with QuickBooks, they'll transfer across with no trouble. To sync with QuickBooks, start in your QuickBooks account. Log in and set your account to display in Accountant view. Click on the Settings icon, the gear, at the top right of the window. Click on the Switch to Accountant view link at the bottom left of the Settings window. Now it's time to create, or verify that you've already prepared, the categories into which your payments will flow from your website. These four payment types must cover amenities, dues and fees, events, and one-time charges. Click on the Accounting tab in the vertical menu at the left and choose Chart of Accounts. You'll need up to four categories depending on the website features you use. Click on the Banks icon to designate the type of account. From the Save Account Under drop-down menu, select the appropriate account. From the Tax Form section drop-down menu, select the appropriate designation. Consult with your accountant or bookkeeper to determine the appropriate designation. Enter an appropriate name in the Account Name box. Again, Consult with your accountant or bookkeeper to determine the correct selection. Enter a description in the description box. Click on the Save button to create an individual account category. Repeat this process as many times as necessary to set up your account categories. Whether you create them now or you already have created them, Note the name you have applied to each one in QuickBooks, so you can match these names in your website setup. If you're using amenities, you'll need to change two settings so damage fees will apply to the same invoices as reservation payments. Click on the Settings icon, and in the Your Company column, choose Account and Settings. In the Account and Settings window that opens, click on the Sales tab. Click in the Sales Form Content section to reveal toggle switches. Activate the toggle switches for Discount and Deposit. Click on the Save button to save your settings and the Done button to close the window. Now you're ready to set up your website so your invoices and payments flow into QuickBooks correctly. Click on the Account tab to open it, and the Settings tab to load the Settings page. Click on the Connect to QuickBooks button to load the Intuit sign-in window. Log in to your QuickBooks account and complete the two-factor authentication process. 
Next in the Connecting HOA Start to Your Community Name window, click on the Connect button. The process now returns you to your admin dashboard. Go back to the Settings window and activate the Enable QuickBooks toggle switch. Enter the account categories you created in QuickBooks into any or all of the four Payments boxes to map your payments to your QuickBooks categories. These category names must match the ones you used in your QuickBooks chart of accounts. Save your changes and you're ready to go. Note that QuickBooks grabs data from your website at around 4 a.m. Eastern Time every morning. As a result, you won't see your invoices and payments in QuickBooks the instant a resident makes a payment. Look for this information in QuickBooks the next morning. Please like this video if you find it helpful, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications of all our new videos.